The easiest way to explain this is that sloths are very well adapted to their habitat. Sloths do not have defense mechanisms, but it does not result with physical altercations for defense. It is in fact relies on being inconspicuous and remain hidden. Camouflage is an excellent strategy to avoid predators, especially in a dense canopy rainforest. Sloths have essentially evolved to develop a more complex digestive system instead of advanced and specialized muscles used for locomotion. A reason why sloths are slow. These specialized digestive systems allow them to feed on the tough, leathery, and otherwise toxic leaves that make up the forest canopy. They basically decrease their mobility in order to be able to eat a more diverse range of flora that other organisms cannot digest. This allows them to remain in the canopy for most of their time. I mean, why leave if you are hidden and also surrounded by a plentiful food source until traveling to a new nearby tree? The slow movement of sloths is a result of this reduction of muscles for locomotion promotes growth of algae on the fur of the sloth, which allows microorganisms to live on the fur. This gives a greenish brown tinge to the fur, which provides excellent camouflage from predators both above and below. Slow movements and color that bends into the surrounding environment will decrease the chances of being located visually. When these microorganisms that live on the fur and algae die, there is an increase in the nitrogen content, which allows the algae to remain growing. This provides continual camouflage and also seems to be a source of nourishment for the sloth. This means he can eat the algae of fur if necessary for a quick snack. Sloths are camouflage specialists and maintain mutualistic relationships with algae and other microorganisms, which allow this unique creature to thrive in the rainforest canopy despite their slow movements that would otherwise leave them extremely vulnerable on the ground.